Okay, guys, so we are going to start uh, assembling our axles for the new 8.8 .8, uh, for the FCRX7. So we have our donor axle. Um, once you cut that metal band, your half shaft will come off. Um, as you can see, there is a gap right there. Make sure when you're cutting it, you don't cut this thing. There's like a rubber uh, seal that kind of um, goes around that and seals all the stuff, all the grease that from coming out. So make sure you grab this and put it back on the shaft, on the half shaft. Um, the other part that we're going to need from these axles is this joint. So there's a retaining clip. It looks like this. You pry that off. And then you just get a job puller. I got this one from Harbor Freight. I think it was like 20 bucks. Um, and it just slides right out. And then it goes on the new shaft. Uh, and then you can see where the retaining clip goes. Once that's in place, you have your boot. You put your boot on the axle, like so. And you fill that with CV grease. It's got to be CV grease, not anything else. Uh, regular bearing grease won't work. You need special formulated CV grease. Um, so that's actually, that's it. So let me show you what we do with the uh, ARC 7 side. Okay, so um, we are doing the turbo to axle uh, or CV joint removal. Now, I have had a heck of a time trying to get this off the shaft. Now, um, the instructions say you just take a um, piece of wood, you put it in the inner in the inner part, and you just bang it with a hammer, and it pops right out. That was not the, my case. Um, it was very very difficult. Um, I tried doing that with a with a three pound sledgehammer. That didn't work. I bought this universal uh, CV joint tool remover. That didn't work. It actually started uh, uh, messing up the threads on my um, on my axle. So I had to quickly stop doing that. Now uh, I bought an air chisel because somebody said you uh, just to use an air chisel on that. Uh, uh, air hammer I'm sorry and uh, they pop right off that didn't even work so I just started getting creative so basically this is what I came up with um, and I hope this helps you if not uh, I hope you had better luck with these other tools because it's a lot easier to do so let me show you what I got okay so um, this is the process I used to get one of the one of the axles off the CV joint on the on the Mazas, on the Mazda uh, turbo axles. Um, so basically, I took some uh, two inch bar stock. I cut out three inches, uh, uh, three quarters of an inch on each side. I placed it like that, and then this sat on top of the um, <clears throat> the, the press. So I know this is bent, and I'll explain why that's bent. But um, this basically goes on right there so you'd bolt this on normal like you would normally do um and then once this is bolted on it, it, it sticks out you know a, maybe like an inch on each side so what you do is you take more stock and you put one on each side um and then you build kind of like a little bridge with this holding those together and then you just press it down and <clears throat> It will eventually just separate everything, hopefully. But what happened on this axle in particular, it just stripped these little these little uh, lips in there. So I took my welder, I put a couple beads of uh, rod filler on there and uh, shaped it to where it would, um, you know, just accept the axle. And then I cut into the axle to make sure there was a stronger bite. And there was, um, it was so strong that it didn't let go there. It just started bending this. So this axle, um, is so stuck on there. I'm not sure how to get it off. Maybe other people have better ideas, but, um, I just opted for the grande kit. Now I could go and try to 
get another axle off somebody, but it's not guaranteed that that's an OEM axle. Um, it could look the same from the out uh, from the outside, but the insides uh, may not take the new axles. So if it's not a, a original Mazda OEM, you're kind of gambling. So um, I didn't want to have to deal with that. I just went with the Grande kit. It uses the Ford outer, outer CVs. And by the way, I just took a block and a hammer and put this in a vise. I put the axle in a vise. And I took a wooden block, put it on there, and then I struck it with a hammer twice, and it popped right out. So, you know, a lot easier. Um, and these are a lot stronger. Um, you use the outers and the inners, and uh, you get new bearings. And if you haven't replaced your wheel bearings, your car's old, so do that. But um, I'm going to show you how to uh, press all out the old stuff, press in the new stuff. If you don't have a press... Um, take it to a shop that can, that does have one. I'm not sure how much they would charge, but it's probably cheaper if you just go to Harbor Freight, get a press like I did, and then you can press out all your all your bushings because your car's old. Just replace all the bushings, do this stuff, and then sell it on Marketplace or Craigslist or whatever to a friend. I, it's cheaper that way um, rather than you taking it to a shop, taking all your all your control arms and everything off, off like that. So let's get uh, – I'll show you how I um, press out these things. Um, I initially did one when I first got it, and I bent part of the knuckle. So um, I came up with a better way, and I'm hopefully you can learn from my mistakes and just uh, – Follow these directions and you'll be able to press this out and not damage anything. Okay, so I have one axle completely done. I have the other axle pretty much done. We just gotta do a couple other a couple little things. Um, just as a reminder, orientation where the half shaft joint goes and the outer uh, CV joint goes, there's uh, a space for the boot to be um, uh, clamped down. There's a small space in between this and the splines. That's where the outer one goes. I initially put the inner on this side and there, if you can see right there, there's a uh, snap ring that goes in there. And um, y if you put it on the wrong side, there won't, you won't be able to put the snap ring in basically. So you got to take it apart and do it over and learn a lesson. But that's, that's what we do. Um, trial by error sometimes. But okay, let me uh, set this up on the stand so I can start finish assembling this. And I'll go over that tool that you need to tighten these. Okay, so first we're going to put the grease in here. Just put it in each groove. Like that. That's kind of hard to see. And then we are going to just put a whole bunch more in the middle. These are not the packets that came with the kit. I didn't re realize that it was going to come with a kit, so I ordered a bunch of grease online. So I have extra. So you see how I did that? Now, what we're going to do is going to put that in like that. Kind of squished around a little bit. And then I'm going to cut up another package. And we are going to put it on the outside. So it's got plenty of grease in there to move around and get lubricated. All right, okay. So, as you can see, there is a ton of grease in there, plenty. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna wipe my hand off because I just got tons of grease on it. Going to put these boots on. So, you gotta make sure these things kind of go together like that. Okay, so once you have that slipped on, 
basically take this right here. As you can see, it's got like these hooks on the bottom and those just kind of slide in like that, okay? So get it underneath. Make sure it's in the grooves, okay? And just try to get that as tight as possible. You don't have to get it like super tight, but just hand tight. And then you're going to take these. So these, you see that little thing right there? These kind of just go in there. Let me set this up. They go in there like that, and you squeeze, and it pulls it tight, and that's what tightens this. And that's it. And that is on there. And so you just keep doing that for this, this section. Make sure you're you're inside that groove. Um, and then repeat the process for this. Um, for this one. Same thing. Uh, make sure you put a bunch of grease on the outside before you put this in there. That way you don't have any issues. But that's pretty much it as far as the axles go. Um, next up, I am going to be... Um, pressing in those the new hubs and the new bearings so let me uh, get this finished up and